back and I think it's time for a brand new segment on Red Eye. If we only had a title and an animation department to kick it off right. Hmm. Politically correct messages are everywhere in our culture and these days no one of any age can avoid them. I put my daughter's favorite music CD in the other morning and these were the lyrics I heard. Hey nana, hey nana, hey nana, hey nana, the earth is our mother, we must take care of her, the earth is our mother, we must take care of, hey nana. She's Actually, three. That was excellent singing yeah, though. That you. was fabulous. You do have the pipes, my friend. That was good. My daughter's three. Could you at least wait until she's in junior high to indoctrinate her into the Democratic Party? Don't worry, she's growing up in New York City. You're gonna get her eventually, you don't have to push. But as a result of all these messages she receives, I've been trying to give her a little bit of balance. So I sneak it in at bedtime when I'm reading her stories. I say, Louise, Mother Earth is not your real mother. Mommy is. You know Mommy, the one who feeds you and gets you dressed and cleans up your throw up. If you vomit on Mother Earth, it just sits there. Mother Earth is also quite indifferent to your suffering. Just imagine if you were alone in the woods and you came upon a hyena. Would Mother Earth rise up between you and the hyena to protect you? No. Mother Earth would sit and watch as the hyena ate you. <laughs> That's what she does. But your mommy and daddy are here to protect you from her, Mother Nature. Imagine if your daddy didn't build a house on her to keep you safe, or go out and hunt pheasant every morning to feed you, or dig underground for fossil fuels to keep you warm. None of, none of which your daddy actually does, <laughs> but he's somewhere in the chain of command. Good night, Moon. <laughs> Brooke, I know the answer to this, but am I wrong here? I mean, <laughs> do we need to start with the environmental stuff before these kids haven't had their first solo bowel movement? Well, first of all, still haven't. Uh, what's with the bowel movement references, Deshaun? I think that's like the fourth one. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. Th that is an ancient um, Native American chant that actually predates political correctness, the disease that we've been suffering from here in North America. Yes. And frankly, I don't really see that being political, politically correct. You know, an example of political correctness is the British police refusing to arrest Muslims who are raping women for 11 years is the true story because they fear being called Islamophobic. Okay, you troubled me with that story. You should tell, your, you should tell that story to your daughter at night. <laughs> Political correctness, just one more example, is when you refuse to publish cartoons of Muhammad because you're afraid you're going to hurt the feelings of people in Pakistan. That's the real disease of political correctness that we're suffering from. I don't think the song... Okay, Brooke, so you much. did. You really did trump me with those little examples right there. But Paul, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I'm, I'm saying is you, that it starts young. It right? starts young, and we both have kids, and I'm going to tell you, you're out of your mind. You know, I love you like a brother, but you're out of your mind. For, if, no, it's not too young. Do you watch children's programming? Have you watched Mr. Rogers? It's all about political correctness. What, do you see him go, uh, having some woman barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen cooking a mistake? I don't think Mr. Rogers was politically correct. He said, it's you I like. It's not the things you wear, Tom Shalhoub. It's not the way you do your hair, well, but you, it's you I like. What do you want her to listen to? Songs about uh, fracking? <laughs> Why See, I not, Paul? That's economic development. Yeah. Well, I, wanna, I want them to learn about growth. I was reading the other day that, that Dr. Seuss story, The Lorax, mm -hmm. and I'm going through it, and I said, you know, the, I said to my daughter, this isn't realistic. This sweater would not sell, well, this Lorax. You know, <laughs> show her, not sell in the open market. Show her Lady Gaga video so she can learn how to objectify herself to men later Rust in life. <laughs> Rusty is going to agree I, with me, I can tell. Yes, because I, I fought this early on myself. I have two daughters. And what I realized was is I was going to fight back and brainwash them right back. And so what I said was, and this is true, I'd say, um, Caroline, she wouldn't clean her room. And I'd say, uh, Caroline, you're being a Democrat. What? You are whining and complaining, expecting somebody else to do it for you. Don't be a Democrat. <laughs> and so then she would do something and she'd start fighting with her sister. Daddy, Caitlin's being a Democrat. <laughs> you watch your language, little girl. That is a very serious charge. So these are things that we do in our home, and I'm telling you, I, it works. Have you ever heard As a matter of fact, we lost, we lost a, uh, a babysitter for that. Uh, they were going to a Walmart, and there was a guy having a will work for food sign, and my daughter said, that guy's a Democrat. <laughs> and the babysitter got mad when workforce came. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill, you've had women scream that at you in the in <laughs> your stop being a Democrat, haven't you? They said stop, but there's no Democrat in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. And then they brought a whistle. Uh, 
This is, when did environmentalism become a political thing? Right. I mean, are, I would, exactly. if this was a song about an SUV throwing carbons into the atmosphere and only Al Gore can save us, you might have a point. This is about taking care of the earth. Do you not remember the 70s? Do you remember what highways look like in oh. the 70s? Aren't they much better now? Back in the 70s, Italian Americans playing Native Americans would shed a single tear because our highways look so terrible. Is it so bad to not litter? <laughs> I think not. And furthermore, have either of you, as fathers, heard of the Alex P. Keaton syndrome? The more you tell your kids to not be a Democrat, the more they will be. Just like Alex's hippie parents told him to be a hippie, <laughs> and he became a Republican. That's why I'm sneaking it in, Bill. I'm sneaking it in. And it does affect my three-year-old gets those little songs, and my six-year-old come home from school, and she says, Daddy, you're hurting Mother Earth. You, you have to turn off those lights. Why is she talking like a woman from Downton Abbey? <laughs> <laughs> she is. We love Downton Abbey in our house. So do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's Red Eye.